Hi guys, it's Lee Stitch. We're back for another video. And I, have, of course, have got some friends. One is my dog. <laughs> you can't really see that. And of course, oh, we've got. It's, it's, it's warm! It's winter in Australia. We've got Gwen, my assistant, and. Hi everyone! Gwen. That's my annoying brother. <laughs> he's very annoying, so make sure to say that he's very annoying. And if you have an annoying mother, brother, make sure to smash that like button. Um, Oi, you're annoying too. That annoying brother Get brought me away. in a nice cup of tea. So, all right, guys. I was supposed to like it, but he said it first. Just sit on there, but let's get on with it. Yes, I have kids who fight over who's going to make me a cup of tea. Isn't life grand? All right. No. So I thought life is good. So I thought first I'll show my my whips, and this is the Autumn Lane Stitchery Dark Queen of the Seas. Try and put a photo up over here. Haven't done much. I got totally stuck on my shuttle lane. Um, I will finish it. Well, not this part on time, but I will get it done. Um, and this is stitched on Under the Seas Fabric Bewitched 28 count linen actually um, plain which was actually made for this stitch along so that was nice next I have Chatelaine Japanese Zen Moss Garden which this even this one just does not do it justice this is what it'll look like when it's done and it's just stunning when it's done if you like the Chatelaine's um if I heard of it the Chatelaine gallery website I'll add the link down below it's um you get to see them done and it's just very enabling but it's beautiful and gorgeous and this is where I'm at I didn't get the beadings done but I pretty much got the whole lot well that not the whole lot of stitching done that I wanted to and you can't see all this here is white so you can't see they're white rice stitches just done in a silk pearl I hate working in silk pearl I don't mind cotton pearl but silk pill just knots up. But that's really good. And these rocks here, in these rocks there's like seven or eight colours and only one of the colours is a DMC thread. Actually in saying that, um, this dark blue is a DMC and this light blue is a DMC and everything else is um, pearl, silk, metallic. It's um, really really pretty so next time next time i show you guys it'll that bit will all be beaded and hopefully i'll get to start on the week afterwards and what else i've got some more fabrics to show you i asked gwen what kind I'm having a silent argument next to me at least it's silent um i asked gwen what fabric would she think would be um color fabric to show next and i i thought i would have put money on the fact she was gonna say pink or purple no, she went through the for the multicolored pre-printed ones. So also has the grays in there, but I might leave the grays till later. So and I've also got my well, my Teresa Welsa patterns. Um, with my Teresa Welsa ones, um, she was my first love, even before Mirabilia's. So we're talking, oh, maybe about 13, 14. So we're talking about thirty. Anywhere between 27, 30 years, I've been collecting the Teresa Wilson ones. So, and, um, very lucky with those. So, um, <sighs> see this fight going. Oh, I don't know if you can see the fight going. Maybe I shouldn't actually show the kids fighting. But they're doing it quietly, which is just nice for a change. <laughs> oh, just don't melt the tea over. <laughs> Okay. Yes, Mum, we know that the tea is sacred. Okay, so first one is Calicasay Fabrics, 28 count plain Lagana, uh, Silver Springs, which is a grey. I have some other ones of this, and it's. Um, don't get me wrong, I still like this one, but I like it when it's a lot more mottled, and that one's not very mottled. Um, these are new ones I have put in my outfit. This one is. I got it on Aussie Cross Stash and Load. I'm gonna see if the hopefully the post is still up because I don't remember. It's 28 or 32 count and it's a paisley pattern. And I thought 
I could find some that could go under that or go with that. It's like nice and subtle. So that would be really I'm not sure. I thought maybe those lavender Celtic ladies lavender and lace might go all right on it, but it might be a bit too busy. So we'll cross that out. And oh I love this piece. Um big group of us at my crossfit group went in and ordered all these fabrics and um you know save on shipping and this lady um it was so big she had to send us two boxes not packages boxes of um fabric and of course mine was in the second box that came not in the first but this lady ordered this and it was a fat half it was gorgeous and i absolutely fell in love with it and i kept showing everybody and everything like so i went and ordered a, a fat half of it and then mine arrived and it turns out I had ordered a fat quarter of it. So I'm going to wind up with two of these. But that's right. I love this. So I'm going to be able to use this. But it's, it's like greys and lavenders and blues. And it's a, a 20 count plain Lagana. And I don't know if you can actually see it. But it's, it's oh, oh, that's a pretty good shot actually. Something gorgeous will go on that because that is beautiful. And that's um, Stormy Night by Cross Stitch Boutique. So my friend, I'm gonna name her, Amanda, otherwise known as the Enabler, found it and a whole group of us ordered, ordered stuff on there. Stop. Okay guys, we're back. Bit of slight refereeing there. Next one, Calicasade Fabrics, Angel of the Morning. And this is, uh, would be a 28 count, 32 count Opal Lagana. And it's like um peachy. Is that the one that I chose? This is the box you chose, yes. Yeah, Multicoloured one. And I'm just trying to get the right. Oh, I thought I had it there for a sec. I don't, you can kind of see it. Something really nice. Actually, I think Mirabilia's Angel of the Dawn would go really nice on this. I'm not sure if it'll be big enough, though. Could be interesting. So that one's really nice. I, if you hear a, a, a loud snoring, that would be the dog. He's on my lap snoring. Yeah. This is a sparkly fabric. Um, 28 count opal. And I don't know if this is going to come up very well. It's really nice. Oh, hang on, did I have it there? It's like a really super pale, super pale yellow. You put the light pinks going through that, like a fairy or even a um, uh, maybe like a sampler would go all right on that one. This is like a darker thread, like you could have like a, a like a really pale yellow with the pinks, little bits of pink going through it. So you could do like a a sampler, like a long dog with the um dark pink thread along it would be really nice. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is a fabric flower. Well, part of the when fabric for so, Citri Express, Cindy Foley, when they first started their um, fabric of the Gwen, I was um, joined their fabric of the month. But I did, I was a part of a lot of fabric of the months, and then I, I cut them right back. <laughs> this is a pre-printed one. Um, it's called Poisonetta, which I don't know if you can. Oh, yeah, I can sort of see it. It is opal, but it's a very, it's a light opal opal i actually thought this um mirabilia titania would go really nice on this you can kind of see the flowers behind it either that or definitely a fairy or something would go well on that one sorry my kid's grandmother my mother-in-law called i mean the night of interruptions i think uh another fabric flare one it is I'll zoom um, I, I do love this one. It's like feathers. It's grey with like these light purple feathers on it. The only thing is, I'll see if I can see it. They've got this, like it's opal, but they've got these big chunks of silver and stuff all the way through it, which blocks all the holes. So I haven't used it. I haven't found something to use it on, but I am a bit worried about when I stitch something, is that going to be a... Uh, is that going to be a problem? Uh, another piece of silver spring. The first piece was a fabric of the month, and the other one was one I just ordered. So, uh, 
40 count linen pearl greys. I wanted to try a 40 count. And I found a place that was having them on sale. Uh, oh, black and white. I think I've got my blacks, whites and greys and with my multicolored fabrics. Um, this is a color for size 28 count Lagana plain called Lightning Strikes. Please do not get those out of order. Oh, I won. Okay. I'm just going to move them. And that's that one. That's I actually pretty. thought Lady Justice might go all right on that one. I was feeling around with Fabric Viewer and I accidentally hit the button and I thought, wow, that looks really good. And, but Calisade Fabrics is no longer on Fabric Viewer. You can put them back in the bag if you want. Uh, by Delicious, this is a 32 count linen. Plain, amazing greys. Um, she on her Facebook page will do like these um, hmm. it's like I think they're called orphan sales. People who ordered fabrics and then didn't want them, or for whatever reason they might not have worked. And I grabbed this one. So it's like a black down the one end and goes to light grey up the top. Where? Yeah, light grey, mm -hmm. black. Mm -hmm. Not sure what to oh, stitch on it. Maybe. Oh, can I stitch something on it? <laughs> Oh, you have to show me what you want to stitch first. Flower. I can stitch a moon and a universe on that. These are... No, because I've already got a moon on it. Wait, what? I mean a sun on this. Holy chicken nuggets. So this is Opal, Fabric Flare pre-printed again. And I was thinking like Nora Corbett Witches or something would go really well on this. So, or anything, you could have the other way, like maybe her uh, stargazer or something mm -hmm. would go really well. Can I stitch something on it like a beautiful sun? You have to learn how to stitch first. I know how to stitch. I have the master cross stitch. Yeah. Oh, right here. Oh, this piece it? I've actually got planned. Mm -hmm. <sighs> you are very sorry, Mum. You find the pattern and we'll talk about it. Cool. If you actually listen to me, I know how to stitch. All right, this one, I, this one I've got plans for. It's another no, fabric flare one. I think it's called Misty Mountain Forest. It'll be a 28 plane, Lagana. But I was thinking of Bella Filipina's um, Gaia would go really Stop. nice on this. Stop. So I think she would just look beautiful on that. So. I also love Bella Filipina's. I think I've mentioned that before. I love a lot of stuff. I just, um, oh. ah. oh. <laughs> sorry. My, I thought about taking them out of their bags before, but then I'm like, uh, I've got to keep them all in order so I know which one goes on where. Uh, fabric one called Clover, and it's an opal. This opal isn't actually threaded through the fabric, it's like sprayed on, so it's very, very subtle. When yeah. you've gotten into the smallest place on the couch, squeezed mm -hmm. in between the dog and my lap. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, another fabric flare one. Wow. Only a lot of interruptions tonight. It's a lot of um, crowded. <coughs> I think this one is called watercolours or maybe marble. Oh, this is really pretty. I don't know what to stitch on it though. Oh, actually, oh, maybe there's a Shannon Christine one that's come out called Lace and Roses, which is, I haven't bought it yet, but I'm going to buy it. And it's really pretty. Gwen, I put them in order. Just so you want to get some. Oh, I love this one. In Calicasade Fabrics. Nah. So I'm trying to do this a bit faster so I don't get another hour long video. Uh, Color Save Fabrics, 32 count opal, Lagana. I went for a while where I was getting 32 count. I think I just wanted a different stuff, but I find they're not very good with the beads. Actually, just to see this, out. this one's called Stormbringer. And I love this piece, actually. It turned out really well. Something. <coughs> I don't know, but something really amazing is going to go on that one. Mom. I actually too. thought maybe like a really colourful fairy or something would go really well on that. Do you want to be cross-stitched? 
Yes, he does. Okay, darling, just plot the mode. Okay. Uh, this is Fibalicious Unicorn Dreams <coughs> Opal. Um, I got it written down on here that it was um good doing Sun Goddess, Mirabilia Sun Goddess on it, but I've actually got another piece of fabric I'm gonna do. Although I actually would go well on that. So I agree, Zuma. No, no licks. No licking. No binding. Stop. Uh, oh, this is a lady on eBay. She was selling all these mirabilias. Um, she was in the UK and um, I was grabbing them and I sent her a message, I think by the fourth or fifth time, because she was doing them one at a time. I'm like, oh, do you have any others? Like, let me know. And she goes, oh, yeah, I've got some and, and, you know, I'll let you know what you want if you're interested. And she suggested a price and I liked the price. The price was actually really, really good. And she sent them all through to me. So I was able to skip the whole bidding thing and um, and save on postage because it came in one postage. But she also just threw in this fabric. So I free fabric given to me. No idea what it is. Um. Hi, oh. Granny Girl. Oh, Calico Save Fabrics. This one is beautiful. It's called Aurora. It is 28 count Opal Lagana. And it is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love this one. Isn't that gorgeous? No, that's beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Don't know what to put on it. But it's beautiful, and it's sh this one is showing up really well on the camera, actually, unlike a lot of the others. Really? Yeah, a lot of the others have a wash this out. It doesn't come through properly. Yeah. Very true. Um, five delicious. Effervescent. Probably said that wrong. Effervescent. Uh, 32 count Lagana Plain. A lot more 32 counts than I realised. Um, I've got nothing against 32 count. It's just when the hand dyed fabrics, the fabric shrinks. So if you've got a piece with a lot of beading on it, it can really cramp up the beads. So, and this one is. I don't That's know. Like the nice it is. It's really pretty and. Is it? No, it's another one. Um. <laughs> piece I'll, I'll show you but you have two of those i don't have two of these i've only got one of these ah this is a piece of thing. this one's called over the rainbow oh. which is a 28 count opal lagana this one's really nice a friend of mine also got up this piece of fabric and she did a one. this is pretty so wow. changes color no, you can't have this. Oh, I thought I could cross-stitch on it. No, I'm going to cross-stitch on it. I just need to find the perfect pattern. But a friend of mine, she she bought a piece of this fabric. And I think she bought it in plain. But um, Dimensions the Sorceress um, by I want to say Jim Henson, James, James Hemsworth. And it had uh, it's one of the charms, chart and charm packs. She did the sorceress on um, this piece of fabric and it looks beautiful. It is absolutely stunning. Um, I've done the sorceress, but I did her on the years ago. Years ago. Um, on the black. Uh, back. Probably 19, 1920. I wasn't at 20, did it? So about 22, 23 years ago I did it. So, But I just did it on the black. I followed the instructions, I even on Ada. Sweet tea, five delicious sweet tea, 28 count plain, and oh, this one is gorgeous. This was actually an option for um, Maria Antoinette. Oh, I think you can kind of see it. It's blues and, and pinks. I can actually, a good way for me to tell is which is my older fabrics and which is my newer fabrics is... Um, when I first started, I ordered a lot of uh, fat quarters, and now I seem to order a lot of fat halves. Well, no, you done, Mom. 
Oh, hope so. Oh my gosh, uh, that was only 10 minutes. Calicasay Fabrics, uh, Mother of Pearl, Opal. This is um, another beautiful piece. It's an ice dye, Lucky Dip. Oh, yeah, ice dye, which is called Mother of Pearl. Uh, yeah, Tammy, she's one. also doing another one at the moment called um, Galaxy Dyes. Although, I've heard she doesn't do them on fat halves because they don't turn out that well. Although, don't quote me on that. I could be very wrong on that because um, I do want to get a Galaxy Dye one off her. I want to do um, Heaven and Earth Designs do um, Planet Dragons dragon, and, um, and use that as the background. So take the background off and stitch the dragon on it and I can oh, save a lot of time, that's for sure. Ah, Palisade Fabrics again. This is the first ones I got off uh, um, Oasis and I remember, I still remember when I first opened this and fell in love. Again, blues, purples and originally I got plain. I was um, a bit worried about what opal would look like. And then I got this piece and I'm like, oh, I want that in opal. Which I, funny enough, I've never ordered this one again in opal. Um, but um, I immediately changed my my fabric of the month from plain to opal. I've actually changed it a few times. Uh, from plain to opal, the count, the size. And it's been very, very good like that with me. So I'm just as fast as I can. One is Calicide Fabrics again. Oh, Hollow Pond. 20, it'll be a 28 count plain Lagana. Mm -hmm. sure. uh, there we go. So it's greens, pinks, purples. Beautiful fabrics. Mum, I'm having so much fun in this video. What about you? I'm having fun. I love going for my fabric. Any excuse to play with my fabric. It's a good day. Oh. <clears throat> Even, Mum, which one would you choose? Go out with Allison or do cross stitch? I would choose to cross stitch with Allison. No, you can't do that. Why? I've done it before. <laughs> That's not fabric flare, water, skin the flare. opal, very subtle mm -hmm. opal on these ones. But, um, Zuma, stop. I mean, you think of that, I think a mermaid or something, but there's only really, that's yeah, there's a crossage again. I haven't bought it. It's like a message in a bottle or a, a ship in a bottle or something. I think would go really well with that. I might be able to get a message in a bottle. And I'm not sure. This is another fabric flare one. This is the um, pre printed. It was part of the fabric of the month. I think it's one of the last ones I got. It's opal and it's. I'm not sure what to stitch on it though. I mean, maybe Mirabilia's is Miss Christmas Eve. Would go alright on that actually. Or, um. I have thought of it. Um, both Nora Corbett and Shannon Christine had these, um. Baubles Christmas decorations. I thought maybe they might already go on that. Like a, a red or something. This one is fabric flare again, and this is this is the moon. This might be just foggy skies. Yeah, this is just snowy skies, foggy skies. I'm not sure which one it is, but um, Snow Queen or something would go on that. Stop your hair. Yes, you can pluck my hair. Although yeah, I'm facing the wrong direction for that. That's okay. Guys, I'm going to get up five if you are. Smash that like button. That like button's going to get smashed. I'm going to get one. Hello. Adios. That's my brother. <laughs> Ian Joseph the Wink. Boy. <laughs> Moonlit tree. Definitely a witch or... A oh, Lady of Mystery, Mirabella's and Lady of Mystery would look good here. Joan Elliott's mm -hmm. Time Traveler would look good on there. I don't have that pattern, but she might look kind of good on there. Lots of choice. Or oh, maybe Gaia. No, it's not tall enough. It's the wrong way. I think on that. 
just right at the start again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one is fabric flare called lightning Pink strikes. Can I see that, Mom? Oh, we want to see. Oh, that's pretty. Wow. Oh, that's like a cool storm. That's wonderful. Actually, if I'm trying now, let's time travel. Might look better on Can this I one. Can I stitch on it? You want to cross stitch on all my fabrics? No, because this one's really pretty. I tell you what, when I die, I'll leave all the fabrics to you. But you can't sure. reuse all the pretty ones. <laughs> all of them are pretty. I don't have any ugly fabrics. Uh, excuse me, mom. Why nice. some of your fabrics have images on them like that one? Like, did you do it or was it just... No, I bought the fabric, fabric like that, darling. It's from Fabric Flair. And another pretty one. No idea what to put on this one. Another Fabric of the Month. I, think I started the Fabric of the Month and I honestly do like some of them, but I think I stopped it because... Um, one, I needed to cut down. But two is, I like hand dyed better than I like the pre-printed fabrics. I think if I do anything pre-printed, I kind of like to have specific fabric in mind rather than a, um, yeah, rather than just have them sitting here. So these are from the fabric of the month. Oh, that's all right. oh, this one's the marble one. Maybe a fairy or something would go nice on that. Not sure. We're nearly done in the box, I promise. Really? Because it's now 8.14. Oh, time to go brush your teeth. Okay. What? Go brush your teeth. Bye. <coughs> you can come back after brush your teeth. This is like just a, like a really... I'm not done yet. Oh my God. I can't really see the colour change in that one. Why? You know, out of all that, I think the dog was the best behaved one there. Oh, I love my kids. I do, I do, but sometimes they're the reason why I cross stitch. <laughs> why I, sorry, they're the reason why I need to cross stitch. Absolutely. This one's uh, Five Delicious, Poisonous K, 28 Count Lagana, Plain. Oh, oh, actually that's, you know, I had it there for a sec. Yeah, that one's there. I would actually like to use this one on a Chatelaine. Uh, I'm not sure which one though. Problem is, I mean, if it's a fat half, it's like 27 by 36 and some of the big like Sleeping Beauty's Castle and um, Japanese Zen Moss Guard and the Maroon Trinet, like those ones, you need at least uh, on a 28 count of 30 by 30. And these are like 26 or 27, so it's just they're not big enough. I think you do the smaller ones. Let's see. Oh, spring showers. I think I mentioned, uh, I showed one of the other patterns I got, Dogs Day Out. And I was saying this. This is the one that I'm thinking of doing that dog's day out on. With the trees and the dogs. and It was just, it was so cute when done. And it had a corgi and I love, it's got all different kinds of dogs in it, but I love corgis. I like full Arabs, wolfhounds too. He doesn't care. <laughs> I think he's happy he's got the whole couch now. This is a hand dye by Stephanie. Hand dye fabrics. Hand dye fabrics by Stephanie. Tintangel. Uh, Cashel linen. 28 Cashel linen opal. Again, this was given to me by my friend Amanda. She's like, oh, I don't really like it. Don't know what I'll stitch on it. I'm like, again, are you kidding me? I love it. I do love, I honestly do love it though. It's, it's grays and purples and blues and just oh actually maybe oh it might be a bit too dark it's got a bit of green throw in there but um a little bit of this raven coin might go all right on there hmm. thought or oh, a fairy um what else it's a pole stitches called 
cobblestone. Um, my friend Amanda and I ordered uh, some fabrics from Pulse Stitches and she didn't like a couple of them so she gave them to me. But And I think this may have been one of them. I can't remember if I ordered or she ordered it. There's that. I think I actually... Um, I think I just one she gave me because everything I ordered from there I did have... I did have plans for but you know best laid plans oh this piece this piece linen and threads i've got this uh one of their retreats it's called carnival glass it's 32 count opal linen and this is just so beautiful i don't know if you can see it oh it's just very subtle and just it's i have to see if i can get it it's lovely and i've tried ordering another piece but um this was kind of like just a, a one-off um, and it's just oh I think the thing is because it's a one-off and you're just never gonna get it back it's kind of like I'm too scared to use it <laughs> it's ridiculous it needs the perfect the perfect piece on it but isn't that just oh I'm still in love with it ridiculous to be afraid to use a, a piece of fabric it, it just I just need to find that perfect perfect piece and oh, pole stitches hurricane actually I think this is the piece that my friend didn't like that Amanda the enabler didn't like it did I miss the video no you didn't miss the video How much do we have? box is nearly done <laughs> Everybody bring breathe big sigh of relief. Wow. I love class stitch. Okay. No, I need to oh, get back in my seat where I can lay down on mum. Um <laughs> that problem there, the little fabrics are there. This one is um Oh my gosh. The Crafty so Kitten Spring Violets. Again, fairly light piece. It's a, and again, it's another one that my friend Amanda do not like. And it's very light. Uh -huh. Um, greens and clay. Well, I hope you can put them all back in the same can bags. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right, Mum. I'm going to go to bed after this, and you can stay up and do it. I'm sorry, Mum. <laughs> Gwen, don't. Really? Really? What? Don't whine. Yes, don't whine. You know what no. I'm like. Okay, tell you. Mm. I get to go to bed after this. Yeah, your bedtime's 8.30, which is in five minutes. She might actually have some stitching on this one. It's a linen no, no, dress. No, 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 no. And I saw it and I thought, oh, this would be perfect. It does have stitching on it. What is that? It's a UFO. I don't know what a UFO is. Is it whacking? Not in my ear. It's a unfinished object. Uh, I was doing the Ingleside Imaginariums, Guardians, Guardians of Notre Dame. I think that was it, Guardians of Notre Dame on that. Um, I got it as she was releasing it. And I still love the design. My friend Amanda's finished it. Yeah, maybe I will one day. Because I saw this fabric and I just thought, oh, this would be perfect for it. But, I mean, I still kept all the pattern. Pattern fell. So maybe... It's not an official whip. I, I mean, I haven't unpicked it, so obviously I, I thought, okay, you know, she feels on that. But it, it's not a, it's not an official whip, so it's in the UFO pile at the moment. Oh, no. Oh, uh, this is Garden Party. This is exactly the same one that I'm stitching. Um, oh, you can kind of see. This is what I'm stitching Japanese and moss garden on. Um, like Japanese? I, yes. I got this on a uh, fabric of the month, which wasn't big enough, so I had to order another piece. Because originally, like I said, with my Shadowland kits, I order them like a year, they spend a year on lay-by. And I, I, I'd ordered it and I told Tammy that, um, just put it as white and can I choose the colour later? Because I had no idea about which colour at all. And I, then I told her much later that it was going to be... Um, 
garden party, she forgot to write it down and she sent me the whole kit with a piece of white fabric. And I what? I sent her an email saying, um, hey, this is, you know, you've custom cut the right size, it's the right count, it's everything. And clustage! And everything like that. And um, you forgot to dye it. She was looking, I said, look, I'm happy to send the fabric back. And she was like, no, no, keep the fabric. I'll, I'll dye you one and send it back. So. <laughs> oh, I swear I'm nearly done, guys. This will be one of the sparklies. This is one of the first sparkly fabrics I ordered. Huh? And oh, kind of got me started funny. on the fabric of the month. It's called 32 Count. Opal Lagana oh Dusk. Chill. Chill. Stop. Um, uh, fabric flare again. This one's called Under the Sea. Under the Sea. Under the Sea. It's Better. Don't wear sweater. I take it from me. Oh yeah, that's under the sea. Under the sea? Can I see? Oh, okay. I can see mum. I can see... Yeah, a mermaid on it. Where? No, not Is now. Is it Ariel? Ditch the mermaid. You can call it Ariel if you want. Or will it be Ariel? And you could add a can little flounder. Can you stitch her with beautiful brown hair She's flowing and a beautiful brown brown. I wouldn't picture that as Basically, beautiful. Basically, she wants to be a mermaid. I picture that as a nightmare. Guys, please. No more arguing. It's too late. That looks like neon. This is Calixade Fabrics, 28 count plain Lagana. This one's called Garden Party. I think Garden of Eden. So I don't know what. I did mm. toss up the idea of black and doing like a long dog on it, but it's not. Oh, it could be long. But actually, if I did it one over one, it would be big enough. You guys aren't sick of these yet. Maybe I should leave the two still off for once for later. Yeah. I might do them. Moon. Again, just begging for a Nora Corbett witch on a broomstick going through that one. Mid <coughs> meter. Oh, actually, I want to show you. This is Silver Springs. Another Silver Springs. This is an um, opal. But it does have more of the mottling on it, so you might be able to see it at its kind of a bit more at its finest. The light. Um, I do like Silver Springs. It makes a nice uh, neutral. Goes with a lot of um, these are a lot of um, pieces. Strangely enough, a lot of Disney princesses. So like that. that. And I will quickly go through my Teresa Welch's, the books. I won't do the whole flick through the books. Um, with the books, I do have all of her books. <coughs> Lucky me. I got the first book is, bought this one when it first came out, Teresa Welch's Fantasy Collection. She's got the castle. The unicorn there was the first I originally bought the leaf look for that, but I actually started that piece and I did this half and the window and everything and I s screwed it up so I fudged it and then I got so messed up with my fudging I just got rid of it and Unicorn. then I would have been 15 or something when I did that so I've learned a lot since then. But Enchanted Flight, The Castle, Carousel is right up there on the to-do list. Day, Rapunzel, Night, Stroke of Midnight, and Pegasus. And the other the book I've got, the next book I got was the Teresa Welsa Christmas Collection. I can't remember all these because Winter Carousel Horse. I do have the others. Some of the others there. I can't remember what they're all called. 
The all myth. These are nice. I am terrified of hard danger. Huh? Absolutely terrified. What's hard danger? It's when you cut the fabric. What? Yeah. And I'm yeah. terrified of it. I just can't. I can't bring myself to do, you do want it. Do me to cut it? No, you might be a bit too eager. Mum would never. <laughs> Egyptian sampler. Oh, I cut all of the fabric. Really high on the to-do list. <laughs> the skin's here is like all one over Actually, one. Stunning when it's done. My friend Amanda actually found me this book because I was looking everywhere for it. The, the Teresa Wells' sampler collection. And she was looking for some other pattern and she found it in um, some little shop in the US and they had it on sale for like... I mean, I'm sure any Teresa Welser fans will know how hard this is to find and when you find it, how much it usually is. This was like 15 US dollars and I'm like, grab it. Like, she goes, do you want it? Why? Yes! $200. So, um, I think it's the English Cottage. English Garden. That one. I do love that one, but it's got hard danger in it, which I'm, I'm scared of. Um, I've done that one. Example, that's the birth announcement and that's the wedding one. We should have entered these. It's just too much stuff to do. This one is the Teresa Welsa Fanny Collection Volume 2, which I spent ages looking for. And again, a lot of you would appreciate how much this one is. This one came up on Aussie Cross Stitch Dash and Load. 10 bucks. 10 Australian dollars. So I jumped on that like. <coughs> Yeah, I was there and the weird thing is, um, somebody, uh, I got a message saying, you know, hey, you do realise how much this is worth and you can resell it for this and I'm like, well, I'm not interested in reselling it. I'm a true Teresa Wells fan. I want to keep it. I'm actually going to stitch the designs out of it. So, but there are, um, and this person actually got kicked off the Aussie Stash and Load Beautiful site fact. because they were, um, very much, they would contact people directly about trying to sell stuff and that. But I think, um, yeah, I think that's the storyteller, spellcaster, mermaid. She is beautiful. Again, high up on the list. Not like trade mine. winds. These are the petite ones. Oh, Chinese dragon. That one's nice. And I think I've seen quite a few people oh, stitching this one, which is actually getting more in the. Oh, and of course, this one. So, she very suddenly took all of her dragons off, so I have to find. And I spent ages getting trying to try and track these all down. There's a leaflet we can get all four, and um, in the one leaflet, but that goes for a lot. That's autumn. That's summer. And that's spring. Uh, winter is in the Christmas collection. Oh, I've got Mermaid. I bought the Mermaid on eBay and then then I got the book. So I do have... Um, uh, I'm gonna, I do have a lot of cross-stitch. Uh, so what I'm going to do with that, the reason why I haven't gotten rid of it yet, is when it comes to doing it, it's harder to photocopy out of the book. So I'll photocopy it out of the leaflet and then, then I'll get rid of it. Because I always do a working copy. Um, I don't sell or anything with the photocopy they're always purely for me but especially with Teresa Welser um what I do is I make a, a working photocopy and then I'll get a, a colored pencils or diff all different colored mm. highlighters and I I color in each symbol it makes it much easier to see this smells yum can I eat it it's past her bedtime mm -hmm. Trace three dragons so when I do this I'm not going to do this dark blue I'm going to do it Shock on a hand dyed fabric. Maybe Garden Party would look good. That was the one with the lights of bright different colours. You can see the dragon. That one is. Can't wait to do that one actually. Fortunate Traveller. I believe Stitching and Sounds doing this one, or he started doing this one. It is pretty cool though. Yeah, I love a lot of Teresa. The Minstrel. These ones I'm showing right now, starting with um, the Tracery Dragon, is a lady at, not my cross-stitch group, she went and goes to the other cross-stitch group um, in St. George that the other lady started. 
and um, she was telling Judy she's got all these Teresa Welser patterns. Does she know anybody who wants them? So Judy put a post up on my Facebook page, the Buy Park Meetup Facebook page. And I said, yes. Yeah. So I got in contact with this lady and she said, I've got all these and these are the prices. And I'm like, you, these are the ones I want. Do you lay by? She lay by. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a massive fan of lay by and paying things off slowly. It, how I get a lot of stuff is by doing that. But, you know, you don't really miss five, ten dollars here and there. And it was like an unlimited lay by. She didn't care how long I took to, to pay it off. This is really cute. Castles by the sea. Golden days of sun and laughter, carefree, perfect ever after. Young and full of dreams were we, building castles by the sea. Ian? Sorry. The camera's on that cushion. Sorry. You're going to make people feel very sick if you keep doing that. Like, what? The bookmarks. Moving the, the video so it moves. That works. Oh, I love this one. Evergreen. Don't ask me why. I just... It's not like her other stuff and I just love it. And... Signed. Unfortunately, not... Like, it's great that it's signed, but not because I met her. I would love to meet her. Persian floral. Yes. Diamonds in squares. I can't see me ever making a cushion. I love the idea of cushions and all the other stuff people do and I hate sewing. I mean, I'm not kidding. I hate sewing. Like when it comes to um, my kids' school uniforms, putting the hems up and stuff, my mother-in-law and my mother actually do it for me because um, I actually do a really bad job. Not on purpose. I actually like trying, but yeah. I was something called Brilliant Plumage. This one is called Dragon Ride. I'm actually very lucky. I've got a lot of her dragons. Uh, Peaceable Kingdom. Oh, this one is a leaflet, but I have it in a book. So this is just, I'm not going to show this because this is the, the pattern that I've, I've already photocopied to, to work from. So, but the, I have a, it was in a magazine. Uh, I think it was in the, the Will Shoot. 20, 25, 20 year book. It had like different. No, that wasn't it. It's in the magazine, but I keep my magazine somewhere else. So. Hairstyle for you, Mum. That's, that's you really that keep one. It in? So. I made a really pretty hairstyle. I'm sure you did make a beautiful hairstyle. Do you think I'll be a good hairdresser? I think you'll be a wonderful hairdresser. Mm -hmm. Oh, some very quick haul. I, I used this thing. This is actually a black work huh? called. Rainbow Octagon Mandela by J. Smith Stitches. And I won't be doing it on the white. Definitely. A, oh, can you see it? Oh, there it goes. It's very blurry though. I might throw in a picture. I'll take a screenshot and put in a picture. But on black, that would look beautiful. But that's black work, not cross stitch. But. Which is weird because I want to try black work, but I hate back stitching. But. Everybody tells me it's black work is nothing like backstitching, so we'll see. But I'm not going to start it now. I have a current goal of I'm staying under 30 widths. Um, although at the same time, <laughs> so it sounds like 30 widths. Um, but yes, I finished. You guys have all been super patient again. I know. And I hope you like that button, subscribe, and I hope you like this and video. Have a great day.